What's going on, y'all? Lady here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm gonna just get straight into this, man. Y'all see the title of the video. I don't want to waste no time, man. Isaiah Thomas, bro. That's who we're gonna be talking about today. I was just thinking in my car on the way home from Dunkin' Donuts. You already know I had Dunkin' Donuts. Taste my iced coffee. I'm gonna put y'all on. I was coming back. And I was thinking about Isaiah Thomas, man. And I posted on my Instagram about it. Y'all can go check that out. This dude needs to be leagued ASAP, bro. I've been saying this for the longest time since he's been out, bro. This dude needs to be fucking leagued, bro. 37 during Drew League, 65 during AEBL, and then he just dropped 81 in Kobe's during crossover, bro. This dude, me, obviously that's not NBA level talent, but people gotta realize that this type of basketball this is the type of basketball that needs to be in the NBA. He's showing that he can still play at an a NBA level that he's not, that he hasn't regressed yet. He's showing that. Injuries and everything has ruined his career. Danny Ainge has ruined his career. I don't want to say Boston as an organization ruined his career. Danny Ainge ruined his career. And I'll tell you guys this right now. Danny Ainge does not give a fuck about your feelings, bro. He doesn't give a fuck that you played after your sister's death. He doesn't give a fuck that you played injured in the playoffs. He doesn't give a fuck that you dropped 52 wild injured in the playoffs. He doesn't care. He will ship you out. And I'm just going to say this right now. As a Boston fan, I do not respect that and I do not fuck with that. Obviously, it's a business at the end of the day. But that shit right there, I do not fuck with it. And that shit is not loyalty at all. I mean, shit. Udonis has him on the fucking Miami. He has been on that team for 19 plus fucking years. He's going on his 19th year in the league, bro. And he's still bringing at least something to the team. He's not even getting fucking playing time. The one time he got playing time, the bitch had four fucking points and got ejected in the fucking playoffs. That shit was fun. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was funny, so. Or that was at the, was the end of the season. He's on a basketball team. Why the hell isn't Isaiah Thomas on a basketball team? I know Isaiah Thomas can help at least one out of 30 of those teams in any aspect, bro. And I wanna get into some of the I wanna get into some of the teams. Uh the Los Angeles Lakers actually said something that they were talking to Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas actually, it actually got uh, worded out that Isaiah Thomas has been talking to four teams. I'm guessing, uh, I don't really know what those uh, what the other two teams are, but I'm guessing the two teams in my mind are the Celtics and Lakers. That's the only thing I think of. But I would love, love, love a reunion with Isaiah Thomas, man. Isaiah Thomas is a straight bucket that we can use off the bench, bro. I'm telling y'all, people don't understand how good of a, how good of a shot creator and shooter this man Isaiah Thomas is, bro. He's he's different. He's different. Someone said that they'd love Isaiah Thomas to come back, but he's going to need to pass the ball a little bit more. I agree with that. I also think that he would work very well as a third stringer off the off the Lakers. I'm guessing Russ and Nunn are going to be over him. I feel like he really would fit well with the Boston Celtics, man. I just want him to come back, bro. Only A Celtics fan can only dream, man. I'm just saying, man. I feel like the, in order for it to happen, because we're really guard heavy right now, because we got... We got Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Chris Dunn, Carson Edwards, Peyton Pritchard. We're really guard heavy right now. So what I would what I would probably do is not fall for this damn summer league hype that Carson Edwards always brings to the table. I love Carson Edwards. Y'all need don't don't get it twisted. I, he was my favorite prospect coming out of the draft, and I got surprised that he that he fell to the second round solely because of his height. And that's what I'm trying to say is height obviously matters in the nba but people like people like isaiah thomas or you got short guys that succeeded in the league muggsy bogues you just got guys that succeeded in the league and i feel like height shouldn't be a factor anymore you can still get a fucking bucket if you're like short as hell look at sharif cooper sharif cooper is six foot flat he is i think he he's there five eleven or six foot flat i can't remember don't hold it on me but sharif cooper is is hella small he's a short king and that dude is putting up buckets in the summer league right now these guys who are short they want they want their pt they want their time they only need a fucking chance and that's exactly what isaiah thomas needs man he's showing time and time again people tend to forget i believe he dropped like 15 points off the bench for the pelicans last season when he when he did get his 10-day contract and man was putting on a show i think he got another 10-day contract and then he just didn't get shit else and he just disappeared again. The league is giving up on him, bro. He showed it before, and he's making his comeback, bro. There's multiple teams in this M in this league who can use Isaiah Thomas in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like these four teams are gonna really be are gonna really be fighting for Isaiah Thomas. They should be fighting for Isaiah Thomas. He should have been he should have been signed like last week. I didn't believe that the Celtics would take a shot at him. I don't think it would hurt. 
I think it can only help. He even said it himself, he wouldn't be opposed to coming back to Boston. I feel like Boston is one of those teams that he's talking to. Uh, because I feel like we're gonna trade Chris Dunn. I feel like we're gonna, I feel like we could waive Carson Edwards or one of these guys for a roster spot open for him because I feel like he should be getting PT. He can coach up Payne Pritchard because Payne Pritchard, I think Payne Pritchard's like 6'1". Payne Pritchard's 6'1". He's a, he's a short point guard just like him. So I'm gonna get this dude Isaiah Thomas in the league, man. You don't average 28 points as a star player for no reason. At 5'9". At 5'9". He was in the MVP conversation at 5'9", and people are still looking over him because of his height, because of injuries. He's shown that he can still play at a high NBA level. He's been out of the league for how long now? Not even out of the league, in and out of the league. I want to say he, he's been in and out of the league, hopping from team to team since he got traded to, from the Boston Celtics to the Cavs, man. I mean, to play devil's advocate here, Boston Celtics fans use this all the time. I mean, if you had a chance to get Kyrie Irving, who just requested a trade, to trade an injury-prone Isaiah Thomas to the Cavs for basically fucking nothing, at the time, yes, I would do it. But Danny Ainge wasn't looking in the long run. Danny Ainge was looking short-term, we're going to win now, let's go get Kyrie Irving. And... I kind of think that's kind of bullshit because that kind of hindered us in a way that not in, in a way it hindered us like fucking crazily bro it set us back more than it pushed us forward because if we would have kept isaiah thomas obviously we probably wouldn't have like a year of contending but it would give isaiah thomas some time to get healthy and some time to get boston back in back in that hunt bro and this is the year for him to be getting a contract and him and for him to show y'all that he can stay in this damn league same thing with Carmelo Anthony, man. They gave up on Carmelo Anthony. They gave up on Carmelo Anthony, bro. How do you give up on Carmelo Anthony? Yes, he played bad in Oklahoma, but now we're going to use him as a scapegoat. The Atlanta Hawks waived him. That's how bad it was getting. And he he was just he was just he was just out of the league after that. He was out of the league after that. The Rockets picked him up and they waived him. I don't understand. And he was out of the league for a while, man. So the Blazers picked him up and the Blazers gave him a home. All Melo needed was a chance. And he proved it. That obviously he wasn't as he wasn't that star player that he normally was. That that straight. I mean, he but he's still a straight bucket getter. That's the thing. He's still a straight bucket getter. Obviously, obviously Melo has regressed. Obviously, he's not at that at that 25 a game, 25 a game scorer type shit. But he's still going to give you 15 to 20 a game. You know what I'm saying? He's still going to give you 50 to 20 a game. That's how he is. I feel like that's exactly what Isaiah Thomas could be. But people just don't want to give him the chance because of his height. And I feel like that's hella bullshit. That's all I got for y'all today, though. Give my boy Isaiah Thomas a chance, man. Boston, please. Lakers, please. Any fucking team, please. Just give him a chance, man. That's all I got for y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.